Konnichiwa, minasan, Shiito desu, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Anime. Now, before I get into the episode, I want to apologize for not uploading any video for the past one month and a half. Uh, the reason being that my finals started, so I had to focus on them more, so I didn't really have much time to focus on any videos. But uh, a few days ago, I did upload uh, the Sky Explosion video. Because I already had it in the works, so I found some free time. I said, let me just finish editing it and uh, bring it out. If you guys haven't watched it, you can check it out. The link to the video is in the description down below. Now, uh, it's time we should get into this episode. Uh, before I do, um, about these, uh, all these Let's Talk Anime uh, episodes that I'm bringing out. Yeah, I'm talking about the anime in particular, so of course there are going to be spoilers. So if you guys don't want to get spoiled... You know, you can just skip the video and watch something else. But, if you guys don't care about being spoiled, or even though you get spoiled, uh, you like me and you want to watch my videos, thank you very much, you can just continue watching. So in any case, today we're going to talk about Kanata no Astra. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So, Kanata no Astra is an anime that came out this year, um, it's basically about um, some teenagers lost in space, which brings out the name, in, like the English name, which is Astra Lost in Space. So, um, basically it starts with some teenagers um, who are about to go on a trip, and their trip is basically going into space, like, they have to go to another planet where they're basically supposed to, like, survive for, like, a week or so. In any case, um... That was the whole plan. So they finally got there, and um, you know how uh, there are like black holes and stuff? Well, they actually have like a white sphere or something like that that's basically has the same properties of a black hole. I mean, they suck things in. But in any case, that thing was moving. So at the beginning, when I was watching the thing, I, I was thinking that it's some kind of monster of that particular planet. So they're basically supposed to survive that. Uh, in any case, um, he started running away from it, and um, yeah, f uh, f they couldn't escape it in the end. So Kanata, which is the main male character, thankfully told everyone to put their helmets on because uh, that thing sucked them in and dropped them somewhere into space. Now the place that they got dropped in was right next to a planet. So uh, now they were like, "What the hell are they gonna do?" But thankfully they found a spaceship like that was really close to them, so they managed to get in. Now, as they got into that spaceship, now the next thing that they were supposed to do, like, after they calmed down, the next thing they were supposed to do is to find a way to get home. Now, after checking all the data in how, like, the whole space map, they figured out that they were super far away from home. So it's basically like, imagine, like, if I should put in, like, in a normal distance, you know, like, to make you know how far they were, imagine that you're let's say in France or something, yeah? Imagine like you're in France and you're supposed to take a car and drive to Japan. Yeah. So that's what they were supposed to do. Like they were very far away and they had to get home. But you're like, how the hell are they gonna get home? Because the whole uh, journey, if you go like, if they were taking it in a straight line and go straight home, it would take like in between one and three months, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, they couldn't do that because they didn't have any supplies, any food. So, uh, thankfully to Zack, he found... Yeah, Zack is another character. Uh, he found, like, a map that would pass through five planets to get home. Like, he found five habitable planets, you know, planets that you could breathe in. So, if you could breathe in that planet, of course there's food. So, he found five planets they could pass through to get home. And so began the journey home. But now... The question was, what was that white sphere? Because basically, looking at it, it was not a monster. The thing was like some kind of scientific something. <laughs> In any case, um, when each passing episode, they were finding different clues like that was leading to their situation. Like for example, in the first episode or second episode, I think, uh, Zack found... Uh, excuse my cold. Uh, Zack found out that the communication stuff was uh, tempered with as it was was cut yeah so there was no way they could communicate back home which means that someone actually tempered with the whole thing and the only people that could temper with it was them 
which means that there was someone on that ship that didn't want them to get home. Someone that planned all this, you know. So basically to kill them. So with each passing episode, they were finding something new. Now, uh, later on in one episode, uh, they checked uh, Kitori's and Funichia's uh, DNA, you know. So yeah, they checked their DNA, uh, it was Zack that did it, and found out that they're identical, like their DNAs are identical. Now, you can't, two people can't have identical DNAs, it just doesn't happen. Even though you're identical twins, you can't have identical DNAs, because you're basically the same person. So that was the whole thing. So they concluded the fact that Kitori and Funichia were clones. Like, okay, not clones, but Kitori was, uh, sorry, Funichia was Kitori's clone. So, everything started to come together. Everyone there was a clone of someone else. You know, and also, everyone there had problems with their parents or, you know, stuff like that. Except for Arius. Uh, I, the thing about Arius was uh, very, very complicated. Like, basically, let's talk about Shars for one thing. Shars uh, was, is the clone of a king of one nation, you know? Yeah. So, Charles was basically the clone of his father, the king. Now, uh, the father had a daughter, which was, you know, a princess. So, uh, basically, you know, the whole thing was kind of crazy because, like, okay, since the father has a clone of himself and he has a daughter, which means that clone is also the father of the princess, which was kind of crazy. But in any case, uh, the princess also had a clone of herself. She didn't want to, but it happened. So that clone was actually Arias. And uh, the only person that knew that from them was Charles. So in any case, with every passing episode uh, about the enemy that was trying to kill them, everything was complicated. Uh, you would always think, okay, this person is the enemy, or this person is the enemy. At one point, I even thought that Yuhua was the enemy, because like she wouldn't talk to anyone. But at the same time, I thought that Ulga was the enemy, because Sim too had a bad personality. He even tried to kill Luka for, at one point. But in any case, uh, the reason being why he wanted to kill Luka was because uh, uh, Luka's father killed Ulga's older brother. So, Ulga wanted revenge. He wanted to make the father feel the same pain. Not knowing that even Luca was being uh, mistreated by his father. So, uh, basically killing him wouldn't do anything. And Luca's situation was kind of crazy because the guy doesn't have a gender, even though he's a clone. He doesn't have a gender. Like, he has boobs, but he's also a male. So the whole thing was super crazy. In any case, guys, uh, which each passing episode, finally after the whole Luca incident, uh, everyone became friends. Um, yeah, so there were no more big issues. But after they left that planet, that... Uh, the last plan where the whole thing, the whole Uga Luka incident happened. Uh, as they were going to the other planet, their ship crashed, you know? So a part of the ship was damaged. So now they couldn't travel back home, which uh, was, you know, crazy. Especially for Kitori, Kitori started falling apart. In any case, um, on that planet, you know, they were now trying to figure out how they're gonna survive on that planet, you know, for the rest of their lives, since they can't get home. But, uh, thankfully, they found another identical ship that, to their own, you know, so uh, they were like, okay, this is still in a good shape, even though it's like, I've been here for years, it's still in a good shape, so we can just change the part of our damaged ship with this uh, part of, with the part of this ship, you know, we're like, yeah, okay, good plan. So, but first they have to get in and see if there's anyone inside. So, you know how in, uh, in these ships, there's like a pod that um, you basically sleep in. In case like your ship is damaged or like you're lost in space or something, you can sleep in that pod for years, yeah, and you won't die, you know, until someone comes and saves you. So, uh, they checked the pod and they actually found a person there, uh, a woman called uh, Paulina. Now, uh, this is where things got even more crazy because Paulina was from Earth. But the kids, the teenagers, they were from planet Astra. So how the hell was this working? So later on, they found out that Earth was falling apart. You know, with all the wars and stuff going on on Earth, the whole planet was falling apart and was not habitable anymore. So they had to look for another planet to live on, and they found one, which was Astra. So uh, 
by that time, Polina was in space on a mission. So something happened to her ship and her crewmates died on the way. Like they died on that planet though. But she was lost, uh, she was lost on that planet, so she was waiting for someone to come save her. Now, um, those white spheres, if you remember from the beginning, those white spheres were used to transport people from one planet to the other. Now again, if you remember when they were sent to space, the kids, when they were sent to space by that white sphere, they landed next to planet. Now that planet, if you checked it, was like, it had an ice age on it, so it was, it wasn't recognizable. But that planet was Earth. So just to show you that the whole thing was how the whole planet was. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I remember. It wasn't really that it was falling apart, the planet, but like an asteroid was coming and was coming straight for Earth. So they had to move out. So thanks to the asteroid, the whole planet turned to an ice age. So in any case, uh, guys, this is, all, uh, this is where I'm going to stop for now. I'm not going to tell you who the enemy is. You're going to have to find out for yourself, which means that you have to watch the anime. So, uh, yeah, the anime, I give it a 10 out of 10. I love this anime. Currently, it is my favorite anime of 2019. I don't know until December. Maybe, you know, new animes are going to come out. But for now, it's my favorite anime of 2019. And that says a lot, you know. It says I have trash taste. But this is not trash taste, okay? This anime is amazing. I, the reviews are awesome. Even the news spoke about it. You know, in the anime Japanese news. Anyway, they named it like the third best anime of this year or something. Anyway, guys, you should check it out. You know, it's amazing. Oh yeah, and the characters we have Kanata, who became the captain. Arius, uh, like I said, she's like the chick that you know she's in love with Kanata, and Kanata is in love with her. I'm not gonna say more. Kitori, Kanichia, her younger sister. Zack, Ulga. Luca, Yunhua, Sharps, and Polina. These are the 10 characters, the 10 space buddies. So in any case guys, that's been Let's Talk Anime episode 5? What was it? Episode 6? Episode, episode 5. Anyway, yeah, so uh, in any case guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the episode, I hope you enjoyed seeing my face again. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering about this key, this key is actually um, the key from Attack on Titan, you know, Aaron's key. Yeah, I got one. So, anyway, if you guys want to get one too, the, the key is actually awesome and it has the imprints and everything. If you guys want to get it too, I got it from Kawaii's store. Uh, yeah, so they have a lot of anime related stuff. You know, they have cosplays, they have clothing, accessories, um, everything you can look for. Just go in there, the link to their website is in the description down below. The prices are amazing, they have amazing stuff. Of course, I'm gonna get more things from them because I. I love their things, you know, I love their merchandise. Anyway, guys, oh yeah, besides the merchandise, check out my merchandise, you know, get my shirts, you know, get this one, I love this one. Yeah, get dumb, get dumb, you can do it, you can do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and look forward to the next one. I've been Hirito, and I will see you all in the next video. Johnny.